We have a question from Kevin, and Kevin says, how would you go about fixing a left-right asymmetry? This is a tough question. I recently realized I'm far better at cleaning and pressing my left side than my right side, and I wanted to make sure that I fix this in a way that won't put me at risk of injury. Okay, just one thing real quick, um, uh, Kevin. Most people have an asymmetry of some kind in, in the press. Uh, the, the biggest thing is if you can get a chance to uh, uh, videotape it and look at your lifts, uh, the first thing I usually say to people, you know, it's not some magical problem. It's got, you got really crappy technique on one side. Uh, it'll be interesting. I'll watch people, they'll say, yeah, I'm just so much stronger. And, you know, you look at their uh, kettlebell clean on the right side and it's perfect. I mean, just locked down on the left side, you know, the, the hand flails, the elbows out and yeah, it's technical. It's practice. Um, it has been done in the past. A young Austrian bodybuilder by the name of Arnold something or other uh, used to uh, spend his Wednesdays trying to build up those weak areas, his left side, his left arm, you know, for example, maybe your abs, whatever. So, yeah, I, I've heard of people being able to train out an asymmetry. Um, sometimes it's just the way the world treats you. Uh, what I find with most of my athletes who are right-handed, their right arm and their left leg are just stronger than their, it's called the rule of the X, right arm, left leg left arm, right leg. Uh, and I don't know if there's a real cure for that because it's something that happens oh, when you first start to throw and kick things and it just gets exacerbated as you do this more and more and more and more. So, yeah, I'd say, I, I mean, video it, see if it's just technical. And then number two, try adding an extra workout a week for it. And then number three, um, maybe not worry about it if the other two things didn't work. Okay, thank you.